A good buddy of mine, Bill McCowan, who is also involved with uh, LOI, asked me right about two years ago, maybe a little bit over two years ago, hey, how about uh, going to Vietnam with me this next trip? And honestly, I thought he was crazy. I was like, why in the world would I want to go to Vietnam? And he said, well, uh, you know, we have this group called Lost Orphans LOI, and we uh, love on orphans over there and just try to help, you know, help aid in orphan care. You know, of course, funds are always a worry uh, in that, And uh, but next thing I knew, the funds were there. I was like, wow, man, the Lord must really want me to go on this trip. And so just went, and uh, that was November 2010, and uh, it literally, literally changed my life. When Kevin came home and he told us the stories, and we heard about the children there, about the poverty there, about just the people of Vietnam, we decided that we were gonna go as a family. When we first got to the orphanage, I was amazed at how um, well these children were taken care of because you hear about orphanages that are not, the, the children there are not as fortunate. The kids there are happy and they're being educated and they want that nurturing. And what I noticed, they want a father figure. This is Tram and I, and uh, this was last summer, just over a year ago, and Tram and I were actually sitting on a bench in one of the hallways uh, downstairs at the orphanage. You see her hands right here holding uh, my iPhone. She was sitting there playing a game, and uh, I was helping her play it, and she probably sat there, I mean, she'll sit there for forever if you let her. From what we were told, Tram and her mom lived on the streets and Tram's mom made her sell or had her sell lottery tickets to help them survive. I know before she came to the orphanage that her mom had tried to take her to a government run orphanage and the orphanage there said that she was not, that she was slow and that they couldn't take her. So that's when they brought her um, to, the to the house of love in Lagi. I think Tram has, um, always had spunk to her and, and joy. Um, now though, the joy reaches her eyes. She knows she has a family that loves her. Um, she knows that someone is there. You know, even though we're on the other side of the world, I think she realizes that we love her. We try to tell her as much as possible. Um, so I, I think over the last few times that we've been, I just, I've started really seeing it in her eyes that the joy that she has. I think she's always been a happy kid. She's not, sure. she was a little bit more standoffish the first time, but now she's, she opens up. It still takes her a day, you know, to open up again, um, because once again, it's family leaving, you know, every time we leave. Well, it's always hard uh, to leave Tram. It's always hard to leave the orphanage, period. Um, and so after a lot of kicking and screaming on my part, uh, they, they, you know, it, when that time comes, when it time is, comes time to leave, um, we just want to assure her that we will be back. You know, it, these children, I'm sure goes through their mind, will they ever be back? You know, the, these children, they remember being left. They remember being abandoned, um, you know, and so, I'm sure that goes through their mind, and so it's it's a real, um, this last time is real important to me, and I think all of us, of course, was just to let them know we will be back. It's heartbreaking when she's crying and hugging you, and, and then your other two children are begging you to stay, you know? It just, it's the hardest thing, I think, we have to do. You know, if we can go over there and love on children, and, you know, just just bring love to a child that otherwise might not have it, that that right there is worth 10 times more than any world possession could ever uh, amount to. We've realized um, what we thought was important before is no longer important. Um, caring for these kids is the most important thing that I think our family can do at this point, if that's what the Lord leads us to do. Um, <laughs> It's just, it's, it's rocked our world. <laughs>